historic Hampton Court Palace on the banks of the River Thames on the outskirts of London. This week, it's the venue for what bills itself as the world's biggest annual flower show. Among the exhibits this year, a graphic depiction of the poaching crisis facing the African elephant. We're trying to highlight the quantity of elephants that are killed each day. The designers used 80 pairs of artificial tusks to symbolise the average number of elephants slaughtered every day. The garden stands in stark contrast to the more normal flower show exhibits which surround it. To drive home the point to a younger generation and other visitors, the creators prioritised realism over aesthetics. You want to make things pretty and colourful and, and pleasing to the eye. And actually, first of all, when we, when we did this garden, we had quite a lot of lush African planting, but we sort of stood back and was like, this just looks too pretty. The grim result is meant to underscore the threat the slaughter poses to the future of the African elephant. For the charity behind this garden, it's part of a wider effort to force the closure of a legal loophole in Britain that still permits the trade in antiques containing ivory. Well, I think a lot of people would be surprised to hear that there is uh, still a, a limited ivory trade here in this country. And in fact, the UK is Europe's largest exporter of ivory, believe it or not. The plan is that this garden will help to keep up the pressure on the UK government. The garden designers and the charity hope that by highlighting the daily toll on the African elephant, they can raise awareness here and help to end this trade once and for all. Malcolm Brown, CGTN, London.